Hello everyone. So before moving on to the next topics, first let's let's just understand some basics concept of frequency response and body upload. Okay, so you will see me again and again using these terms frequency response body upload. So what does they actually mean? Let's just see that. Okay, and uh, basics of transfer function we have already seen right in the previous videos only. Right? What is zero? What is pole? What do you mean by transfer function? How do you write a transfer function? These we have seen right now. After this we will see intuitively how will you write the transfer function. Before that, we have seen the theory, and in this as well, we will see the theory. The usage in electrical circuit will be taught later on, okay, in the next videos. Here we will see the complete theory of frequency response and body upload. And even if you already know, just watch this video, watch it on 2x or by skipping, watch it in 5 minutes or 10 minutes. But let just watch it because there can be something that that can be new, okay. So let let just not jump onto the top topic first. Let just uh pick up our, our topic right so this is what we do we will not jump to the topic directly but we will see the concept behind it first okay so this is a very simple question you have to draw f of omega versus omega and for omega is for 0 to 100 simply you need to draw this graph it will be a straight line starting from origin till 100 value right why am i solving this you will get to know the reason okay so at 0 you will be having 0 at 1 you will be having 1 2 you will be having 2 3 you will be having 3 4 you will be having 4 and till 100 it will go okay till 100 it will go like this 100 will be somewhere too far right this will be 50 like between 0 and 1 if this gap is delta which gap is this between 1 and 2 this gap will also be delta and this gap will also be delta although this gap is 1 but i am writing delta right so delta 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 so 100 delta gaps will be there so this will be your x axis and this will be your y axis from 0 to 100 it will go okay now what i am doing i am drawing f of omega versus root of omega okay root of omega i am drawing So how will I draw root of omega? This is f of omega versus root of omega. So what do I mean by root of omega? That means now this value is of root of omega. I am putting root of omega equals to 0. That means omega equals to 0. So at omega equals to 0, you are having 0 only. So this is the graph. If I am putting root of omega equals to 1, that means I am putting root of omega equals to 1. That means omega equals to 1. So this is the graph. So at 1 you will be having 1. Right. So at 1 you will be having the value 1. Okay. What do, what do I mean by omega root of omega equals to 2? Root of omega equals to 2 means I am having omega equals to 4. Right. So at omega equals to 4 you will get the value equals to 4 only. So this value will be your 4. So at 2 you will be having 4. Right. And at 3, what you will be having? Root of omega equals to 3. That means omega equals to 9. Root of omega equals to 3 means omega equals to 9. So here I will put 3 only. This is the value of root of omega. So whatever the x is we have shown, the given value is of that variable only. That means root of omega is equals to 3. Right? So at 3, you will get f of omega equals to 9. So, omega goes to 9, that means f of omega goes to 9. Here, omega goes to 4, that means omega goes to f of omega goes to 4. Right? So, tell me what will be the end point? What will be the end of end point of root of omega here? That will be 10. Right? Because root of omega equals to 10, that means omega will be equals to 100. That's it. After that, graph will be 0. So, if we complete this graph as well, the graph will go something like this. This is the 100 and after that, the graph is 0. Right? So similarly, the graph will, like now this is the slope. Now the slopes will be different like this and this. So at 3 you will be having 9. So I don't think I can show it clearly on the uh, graph. But I hope you are getting my point. 
what did we understand here? We understood that by introducing and like this the graph will go on, right? The slope will keep on increasing and like this will be the graph. So, in 10 points only, we sh have shown the OR values of omega. When root of omega is equal to 10, omega is equal to 100. So, only in 10 points, we have sh shown all the values of omega. So, from 0 to 10, this have covered all the values of omega. Have covered all the values of omega. Right? Now, let us assume if omega was, now omega, here omega was having 100 values and you want to plot it on a graph paper. On a graph paper, you have to have 100 points, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that 100 points. Right? And if, what if the amplitude is very high, like at omega equals to 100, your amplitude is 100 as well. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that, so much of high amplitude as well. Right? Now, you will say, sir, do like this. Uh, first point is 0, then the other point is 10, the other point is 20. Yeah, we can do like this. But, but, but the graph is, this graph is linear. So, there is no problem doing like this. But what if you had some values like this? At 0, you are having 1. At 10, you are having 2. At 20, you are having 100. At 30, you are having 500. So, this would have been a non-linear graph. So, there, it wouldn't look good. Like, uh, at 30, you are having 100 and but let's just assume at 25, you are having 150. So, you can't show this value, right? If you take so much of gap, 0, 10, 20, 30, like this. Now, at 10, you can show the value. 20, you can show the value. 30, you can show the value. At 25, you, can, you can't really show the value. You can't really make the graph very much nicely. What, what if at 22.5, you had some values, right? So, since I am taking here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, but... There can be values at any point, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So, there can be so much of points. So, we don't want that much of point in our graph, right? Neither in x-axis nor in y-axis, right? So, that's why we did this thing. And from here, we, we could reduce the graph to 10 points only. Here, that was of 100 points. And now, the graph is reduced to 10 points only. And even in y-axis as well, the graph is reduced, right? Now, see this question. Now, you are drawing f of omega versus omega only, but your x axis is in square root square scale. Okay, square root means this, square root scale. So, take your complete attention here. Okay, your x axis in, is in square root scale. Okay, so what do I mean by that? What I am drawing f of omega versus omega only. This is f of omega versus omega. And the values that I will put here, 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 these values will be of omega only. Right? I am naming the axis as, as omega. I am naming the axis as omega. So, the values I will put here will be of omega only. That's for sure. Okay? So, let's just assume I am putting omega equals to 0. What did I say? x axis is in square root scale. So, scale is root omega. This is the scale. That means, if you are putting omega equals to 0, the axis will think root 0 is applied. Are you getting my point? If you put omega equals to 0, the axis will think root 0 is applied. If root 0 is applied, that means 0, 0 only. Okay. Now, if I put omega equals to 1, that means what will axis will think? Axis will, will think root 1 is applied. At omega equals to 1, what is, what is the value you are having? Like f of, f of omega will always be omega. This is not affected. Only the x axis is affected. Only x axis is, is affected. Okay. So, this will remain at 1 only. There is no problem with that. Now, tell me for, yeah, for omega equals to 1, what will be root omega? It will be root 1 only. So, root 1 and 1, both, uh, everything is same only. Now, what if I put omega equals to 2? If I put omega equals to 2, now I am saying this gap is delta. In the previous problem as well, this gap was delta, this gap, gap was delta as well, and this gap was delta as well, right? 
Now this gap is delta. Okay. Now I am putting omega goes to two. What will the axis think? Axis will think that root two is given, right? Because the scale is root omega. So axis will think that root two is given. Now based on the axis, if this point is zero, this point is one. What is root two? That is one point four one four. So this point is not going to not going to be root two. This point is not going to be one point four one four. The point will be near to one. right are you getting my point as per the axis if the this gap is delta okay then for another delta gap what you will have if this gap is delta for another delta gap you will have 2 so axis should think that 2 is applied that means root of omega should think that 2 is applied that means you have to apply value of omega equals to 4 then only the axis will think root 2 is applied are you able to observe it look this is a very very intuitive thing you have to pause the video or think about it what i am saying okay like no no one will start your body plot from here that i can guarantee but i want to give you the concept what we are doing look i want a linear scale okay but i want values like this here omega goes to 4 here i am putting omega goes to 4 that means x is will think here we are having 2 If I put omega equals to next value, I will put omega equals to nine because x will think x will think I am having three. Although value at omega equals to nine, you will be having nine value only. F of omega is not affected. This x is unaffected. Unaffected. What I am changing is the scale. Are you getting my point? I am changing the scale. if i am saying this point is my a this point is my b this point is my c and if this point was my p this point was q and this point was r so what can i relate i can relate that my a is equivalent to p and b is equivalent to q And c is equal to r. How you can think of it? Just think that this root of omega x is is like this omega x is is superimposed on this root omega x is. That omega x is you you take this omega x is this one you take this omega x is okay and put that omega x is on this root omega x is. So this is what we are doing. F of omega is unaffected. at omega goes to 9 you will be having f of omega goes to 9 only that is unaffected okay at f of omega at omega goes to 9 you are you, you are going to have f of omega equals to 9 only this value is going to be 9 only okay this value is unaffected this value is unaffected that is 9 but from here to here your gap is delta now but if you see in the first graph If you are going from one to four, you need three delta gap. If you are going from one to four, you need three delta gap, right? You need the gap of three delta. If you are going from four to nine, you would need the gap of five delta. But in this graph, what did I do? I squeezed the size of my axis. The size of my axis is reduced now. if i am going from 4 to 9 only delta is required only delta distance is required so i have a graph paper where my x axis is of this x axis this is my x axis this is in the scale of square root then i can put my first point equals to like there will, the graph paper will be something like this right it will have these columns like this so the first point i will put equals to 0 the second point i will i can put equals to 1 the third point i can put equals to 4 the fourth point i can put equals to 9 are you getting my point what i am doing right well and good understood okay so we are just going towards our topic okay we are we haven't reached the topic yet we, <coughs> we haven't reached the topic yet but we are going towards there okay like this 
okay so this is how it is going this f of omega is unaffected at omega equals to 9 this value is of omega only not of root omega you are applying i will say again you are applying omega equals to 9 what will this axis think this axis will think 3 is applied if you put omega equals to 16 what will this axis think it will think 4 is applied so eventually you will only apply omega equals to 100 this value will be 100 so what will this axis think that 10 is applied so only 10 points you required okay so tell me from here to here how much delta you require from 9 to 100 in first case you would require 91 delta in this case how much delta you require 7 delta only because at 9 this axis is thinking 3 is applied at 100 this axis is thinking 10 is applied from 3 to 10 you are going in only 7 gaps you can go in these 7 gaps in this seven gap one this is one gap this is two gap so in these seven gaps you can go there this is seven delta go to my point okay and at 100 you will have the value 100 only okay f of omega will be equals to 100 only now the next question is we are doing it on a log log scale okay so what you need to plot nothing different f of omega versus log tan omega okay so this is omega equals to 0 right now values we are putting is of log tan omega so I am putting, let us assume if I put log tan omega equals to 0, then what will be the value of omega? Omega will be 1. Right? So log tan omega equals to 0, that means omega equals to 1. But we have to start from omega, omega equals to 0. Right? We have to start from omega equals to 0. That means what will be the value of log tan 0 then? Minus infinity. That means we will be have, we will be starting from here. Did you get this point or not? Let's just go to this analysis here. So here we put first we put root of omega equals to 0. And from here we got to know that omega is equals to 0. So this is from where we, we were starting, right? Now in this thing, we are starting from we need the initial value omega equals to 0. Let's just assume this is my axis. So what values of omega I can put? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? Log tan 0 is minus infinity. So from here we will start. So always if the axis is log, the value will not start from omega, this uh, log tan omega goes to 0. Uh, it will start from log tan omega goes to 0.1. It can start from 0 0.01 as well, 0 0.05 as well, but it won't start from 0. Okay, this point, this point will never be 0. Okay, because this directly shows that if I put log tan omega equals to 0, that means omega is equals to 1. So it is directly showing that you are starting from omega equals to 1. You have to start from some low values as well. And if I am putting log tan omega equals to 0 0.1, right, log tan omega equals to, sorry, 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 there is an error, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so the error is that like this point will actually be minus 1 actually okay minus 1 it can be minus 1 as well minus 10 as well minus 20 as well minus 30 as well okay but a general case we are taking minus 1 that means if i put log tan log tan omega equals to minus 1 the value of omega i will get is 0 0.1 right so for, from low values of omega i am starting i need to start from low values of omega ideally i should i should start from omega equals to 0 but what do i see here if i put omega equals to 0 here i am getting minus infinity so I have, I have to start from some value. If I had put, uh, if I had put, uh, if I had been starting from minus 10, what value of omega I would get? 10 to the power minus 10. That is very very less, right? Very very less. 0 0.0000001. Nearly equals to zero. Even zero, even omega equals to. If I am putting log of 10 of log 10 of omega equals to minus one, that means that means I am starting here omega here my omega value is 0.1, right? Here my omega value is 0 0.1.
सो दैट इज नियरली इक्वल टू जीरो नियरली इक्वल टू जीरो ओके टेल मी वोट विल बी माई नेक्स्ट वैल्यू नाउ नाउ वोट वुड लोक टेन ओमेगा वांट दिस इज नियरली इक्वल टू जीरो ओके सो फ्रॉम माइनस वन टू नेक्स्ट पॉइंट वी विल बी गोइंग जीरो नेक्स्ट पॉइंट वी विल बी गोइंग वन फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट पॉइंट वी विल बी गोइंग टू नेक्स्ट पॉइंट वी विल बी गोइंग थ्री फोर लाइक दिस वी विल बी गोइंग सो इफ लैग लोक टेन ऑफ ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मीन्स ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू वन सो दिस वैल्यू इज नियरली इक्वल टू जीरो सो हेयर ओमेगा वैल्यू इज वन इफ लोक टेन ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू वन दैट मीन्स योर ओमेगा वैल्यू इज टेन सो हेयर योर ओमेगा वैल्यू इज टेन एंड इफ लोक टेन ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू टू दैट मीन्स योर ओमेगा वैल्यू इज हंड्रेड सो हेयर योर ओमेगा वैल्यू इज हंड्रेड आफ्टर दैट इट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड so in four points only one two three four you have described your complete omega axis look this axis is of log tan omega this is a log axis okay this is a log axis so i am i will put the value of log only in this case this was root omega axis so i was putting the value of root omega only here my root omega was 3 that means omega was a line are you getting my point but in this case this axis was omega so i was putting the values of omega only this these are the values of omega but the scaling is square root scale okay because of square root scale this axis was thinking something else this, if i am putting omega equals to 9 this axis was thinking 3 is applied okay in this case in this case i haven't talked about axis now in the next question i will talk about the axis so in this case currently i am putting the values of log tan omega only so first i put log tan omega equals to minus 1 why did i put minus 1 log tan omega equals to minus 1 why did i put minus 1 because i need very low values of omega if i had put equals to 0 only if i had started from 0 log tan omega is to 0 then omega value i would get is 1 so but i need to start from 0 okay or something nearly equals to 0 that can be 0.1 okay so that's why i put log tan omega equals to Here I put log tan omega, log tan omega is equals to minus one. Okay, so omega value I get is zero point one. You could have put log tan omega equals to minus two as well. You would get zero point zero one. Then your axis would be something like this: minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three like this. This would show you ten to the power minus two. That means zero point zero one. This would show you zero point one. This would show you one. This would show you ten. This would show you hundred. Go to my point, right? So that's why I started from. I took a general case. Uh, generally, this is the case that they start from zero point one. Omega goes to zero point one, or log of tan omega goes to minus one. Okay. So tell me at zero point one, what value you will be having? Nearly zero only. At omega goes to zero point one, you will be having nearly equals to zero only. At omega goes to at omega goes to one, you are having one. At omega goes to ten, you are having ten. At omega goes to hundred, you are having hundred. Right? Ten. I should make this. And at omega goes to hundred, you are having hundred. So this is how your graph would look like. Right? So only in four points we have shown the complete graph. Only in four points. Did you get my point? What I am doing? Rewind the video, see it with, the, uh, see it slowly or anyhow. Take your pen and paper. Think about it. What we are doing? Okay. Now what we are going to do? We are going to plot f of omega versus omega, but the x-axis is, is is in log scale. X-axis is in log scale. Okay. So first answer. one of my question that is what will be the value i will be putting here of omega okay this will be f of omega and f of omega versus omega we are doing but the scale is in log scale okay so what value of omega should i put here if i put omega goes to 0 what this will think that minus infinity is applied right so This axis will think minus infinity is applied. So where it will send us? It will send us here. Because for this axis, in his brain, in his brain, for this axis, minus minus infinity will be 
एट दैट साइड आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट इफ आई अप्लाई ओमेगा इक्वस टू जीरो इफ आई पुट ओमेगा इक्वस टू जीरो हेयर द एक्सिस विल थिंक माइनस इन्फिनिटी इज अप्लाइड एंड वेर इज माइनस इन्फिनिटी अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस एक्सिस दैट इज टू फार दैट साइड सो इट विल सेंड अस देयर बट वी डोंट वॉन्ट दैट वी वॉन्ट टू बी नियर टू इक्वस टू जीरो ओनली सो आई विल पुट जीरो पॉइंट वन हेयर इफ आई पुट जीरो पॉइंट वन वोट विल दिस एक्सिस थिंक दैट माइनस वन इज अप्लाइड इफ आई पुट ओमेगा इक्वस टू जीरो पॉइंट वन दैट मीन्स here if i put omega goes to 0.1 what will this axis think this axis will think that minus 1 is applied right so minus 1 will nearly be here only so i can make it uh, at uh, origin as well near the origin as well okay so i can't put the minimum value of 0 omega goes to 0 but i can put omega goes to 0.1 okay so tell me what value of omega i should put next Let's just try putting omega goes to one. If I put omega goes to one, what this will think? Log tan omega will think that zero is applied. So I will put omega goes to one here. Okay. Next, if I put omega goes to ten, what will this axis think? That omega goes to ten, I am putting. Sorry, 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 sorry. If I put omega goes to one, what will this axis think? That zero is applied. Right. If I put omega goes to ten, what will this axis think? That one is applied. So this is omega goes to ten. And if I put omega goes to hundred, I put omega goes to hundred. What will this axis think? Two is applied. Right. So from here to here, if you are going, there is ten x growth. From here to here, if you are going, there is ten x growth. And from here to here, if you are going, there is ten x growth. so in log scale within four point you are able to write 0.1 to 100 of omega value look if you are not able to understand what you need to think you just need to think that it will start from 0.1 in log scale this is the important part only okay this is the important part important part only forget about the root and everything okay this is the log scale the minimum value it will start from 0.1 and 10x it will go if you are applying omega goes to 1 that means the axis will think zero is applied if you are applying omega goes to 10 the axis will think one is applied what what is x x axis is thinking like axis thinks that minus 1 is applied here axis thinks that zero is applied here axis thinks that one is applied here axis thinks that two is applied so there is constant delta gap right this is what scaling axis scaling axis thinks right scale is scaling axis thinks that minus 1 0 1 2 are applied but actually 0.1 1 10 and 100 are applied because we are showing the value of omega here are you getting my point or not look this is a complex this this is known as mapping so this is a complex topic okay and this is the best way of explaining it trust me i thought of a lot and then i came up with those question first i came up with the root one then i came up with the log okay so here you have to put full focus and keep your brain active then only you will be able to understand although this is not necessary for your placement okay that i will that i can tell you that it is not necessary to know all these things for your placement okay but you should have a background of body plot if interviewer is asking you draw a body plot then i guess you should have a background so that's why i am giving you the background okay what is that is necessary that will be taught in the end of the lecture and within four to five lines it will be all concluded but i want to give a background that's the thing okay so i will explain once more starting from here we needed 100 points that is not good Okay, then we try to plot f of omega versus root of omega. Okay, then I go to know if I put root of omega equals to ten, I am going till omega equals to hundred as well. So in ten points only, I am getting all my values. Okay, so now what I am doing, I am making f of omega versus omega only, but the scaling is root of omega. That means I am making the graph on, making the graph on root of omega graph. This graph thinks my axis is root of omega, but I am putting the values of omega. 
so if i put omega equals to 4 the graph will think 2 is there if i put omega equals to 1 the graph will think 1 is there if i put omega equals to 0 the graph will think 0 is there if i put omega equals to 9 the graph will think 3 is there but actually this is 0 this is 1 this is 4 and this is 9 i am putting I am putting omega equals to 9, graph is thinking it is 3. So, we can have a constant gap of delta in between them. Right? Although, there is huge difference, with, huge difference between the gaps. Right? This is, uh, this, this is delta, this is delta, this is delta, but 4 to 9, we are going 5 points. And 9 to 16, we are going 7 points. But within delta, we can cover 5 points within delta only we can cover 7 points okay now similarly we are drawing f of omega versus log tan of omega the first thing we notice here is that we can't start from omega goes to 0 because at omega goes to 0 this will give us so uh, sorry we can't start from log log tan of omega goes to 0 log tan omega equals to 0 if we start from here omega will be equals to 1 only but we need lower value of omega as well so we are starting log tan omega equals to minus 1. So, we will get the value of omega that is 0 0.1 which is near to 0. So, we are starting from omega equals to log of tan of omega equals to minus 1. The, these values are of log tan omega. Okay, I am again and again repeating this line that whatever the x is written, log tan omega is written that means we are putting the values of log tan omega only. Okay, that's why I am re repeating this line again and again. Many students get this thing, get this thing wrong. Okay, even in gate examination once uh, ISC did, ISC did this mistake or I don't know which IIT did, did this mistake but they also um, here they mentioned the values of omega but they wrote the axis at, as log tan of omega. What did they do? They wrote like this 0 0.1 1 tan 100 and here they wrote log tan omega and then they drew the body plot and the question was framed but all the uh, everyone got the two marks there why because these values are of omega in the next graph we have seen these values are of omega not of log tan omega okay so these values are of omega okay now i am mapping my graph to x axis as omega but my scaling is log tan omega so what will my axis think if i apply omega equals to tan what will my axis think that log tan tan that means 1 is applied if i apply omega equals to 100 what will my axis think that 2 is applied if i applied omega equals to 1 my axis will think 0 is applied so there is constant delta gap between them so in delta gap only in this delta gap only we are in three delta gap only we are able to cover 100 of values of omega in three delta gap in first graph we needed here we needed in the first graph, here we needed 100 delta, then here we needed 10 delta, right? Here also we needed 10 delta, because these this graph and this graph is same only, here just I am writing, writing the value of omega and here I am writing the value of root omega, root omega, okay? And then we came to log and in log we just need 4 values or 3 delta, we just need 3 delta. In 3 delta we are able to cover the complete graph. Here as well in 3 delta we are able to cover the complete graph. This graph and this graph is same only. Here just I am writing the value of log tan omega and here I am writing the value of omega. But the axis is thinking in log tan omega only. So I hope this point is clear to you. If this is not clear, no need to worry. It will be clear later on. Okay. And this is not the important part for your placements. That I can guarantee you. Okay. So don't worry much. Okay. Let's move on to the next thing now. Now what we are doing, we are the same thing that we did previously, but the gain will be in dB. So the same graph we are drawing, this th same graph we are doing, okay, I, I didn't draw the graph. Okay, forget it. The same graph we are drawing, but the gain will be in dB. Okay. So f of omega, f of omega versus omega, x axis is, is in log scale, but the gain will be in dB. That means the value will be in dB. Now how to con convert decibel into dB? If anyone doesn't know, so let's just assume I want to convert tan into dB. So what will I do? 20 log tan, tan. That will be 20. Okay. If I needed to convert 50 into dB, so what will I do? Log tan, 20 log tan, 50. If I needed to convert 100 into dB, what will I do? 20 log tan, 
100 so it will be 40 dB go to my point okay any decimal value that you want to convert 20 log 10 that value that's it okay 20 log 10 10 so it will be 20 dB okay so that's how you convert so what you are doing so this is omega okay and this is f of omega in db in db so these values you have to remember actually you are starting from 0 0.1 what are the values of omega you are putting 0 0.1 1 10 100 and at constant gaps okay why why so because log tan omega will think 0 0.1 is log if i am applying omega equals to 0 0.1 log tan omega will think that minus 1 is applied. If I am applying log tan omega, uh, omega equals to 1, log tan omega will think that 0 is applied. This axis will think 0 is applied. Now, if I am applying omega equals to 10, that means this axis will think 1 is applied. If I am applying omega equals to 100, this axis will think 2 is applied. Okay. So, that is why there are constant gap between them. Okay. So, there is this constant gap. 0, delta, delta, delta is the constant gap. Okay. So, at omega equals to 0 0.1, what is the value? f of omega okay at omega equals to 0 0.1 f of omega is 0 0.1 and in db what it will be 20 log tan this value that means it will be minus 20 okay so here i will write all the values at omega equals to 1 what is f of omega that is 1 only in db what it will be 20 log tan 1 that means 0 db right so, in db, it will be 0 db. db, I should write 0 db. Okay. At omega equals to 2, what is f of omega? At omega equals to 2, f of omega is 2 only. So what will what it will be in db? 20 log 10, 2. So, it will be 0 0.3 into 20. It will be 6 db. Okay. You can calculate it in the calculator. It will be 6 db. And at Sorry, sorry, why, why I am writing omega equals to 2, that, that will not come into this graph. But okay, I just wrote it. Let us just write for omega equals to 10, what it will be? f of omega will be equals to 10, it will be 20 log 10, 10, right? So, it will be 20 dB. And if I am writing, if I am write omega equals to 100, If I write omega equals to 100, then f of omega will be 100 only. That means if, if I will put 100 only here, so I will get 40 dB. Okay. So at point 0.1, you are getting minus 20. So at point 0.1, you are already getting minus 20. At 1, you are getting 0 dB. The gain is in db so at 1 you are getting 0 db at 2 forget it at 10 you are getting 20 db this is the 20 db at 100 you are getting 40 db now tell me one thing this graph will be linear or non-linear this time it will be linear only because what was the value you were getting at 10 it was 20 It was 20 dB. So, in every 10x growth of omega, in every 10x growth of omega, you are getting 20 dB more gain. I will repeat the line. In every 10x growth of omega, 10x, 10 times, you are getting 20 dB more gain. The gain in omega, sorry, uh, increase I should say, not gain. So, for every 10x growth or increase, so, for every 10x growth in omega, you are getting 20 dB more gain. So, you are going from omega equals to 10 to omega equals to 100. That means, there is 10x growth in omega. So, your gain will be 20 dB more. So, 20 plus 20, 40 dB. Right. So, the graph is going to be linear only. Right. I will just name those points A, B, 
C D. Okay. Tell me what will be this point? What will be the value of omega here in between these two? I want your answer. It will be 5 or something else. If your answer is 5, you need to pause the video and think a lot of things that I have told you. Omega axis is linear. This omega axis is linear. No, that is log. This axis is log. Right? So, what will be in between them? This point 1 and 10, this point can't be 5. This is not the ratio of 1 and 10. Right? Are you getting my point? Right? So, you can't really tell what value of omega it is. Right? Although, this value I should write here, 40 dB. But one thing I know that at this point, I will have a gain of 10 dB. I don't know what is the value of omega that you will be able to understand how will you find but I know one thing that at the middle point it will be 10 dB. Now at omega goes to 2, at omega goes to 2, somewhere here I was having 6 dB gain. So this point would have been omega goes to 2. Okay. This point would have been omega goes to 2. Look, this graph is linear. This graph is linear. If this is 20, this is 40, this point will be 30 dB, that's for sure. Because this graph is linear, but the axis x axis omega axis that is not linear because the axis is, is in log scale not the decimal scale this is in log scale this axis is not linear but the graph is certainly linear so if the middle point is certainly going to be 30 db okay so this is not looking good so instead that i will show the middle point that is 30 db so instead that i will show the point here This is 30 dB. And this point is certainly not 55 for sure. What people will do? That they will take the average 10 plus 100 by 2, 55. Like in, in linear graph, if this was 10, this was 20, then middle point would have been 15, right? Average of these two. So similarly, here if you take 10 plus 100 by 2, 55, then you are doing a lot of mistakes. You didn't understand anything in the previous concept. Just revise the concept, then only you can uh, proceed further. Okay. So, look, this is the actual depth of body plot. And trust me, in YouTube, you wouldn't find this depth. Okay. Everyone teaches what I will teach in last. And everyone thinks that body plot is very straightforward. But this is not that much of straightforward. Okay. If you are read, studying it for the first time, it will think like what is going on. Because we are not usually, we don't usually change our x-axis and y-axis, right? So, but this is happening here. And 95% of the people who think they know body plot, they don't know this thing. That I can guarantee. Okay, I don't want to disrespect anyone. But, uh, like, if you find it tough, trust me, everyone will find it tough. Okay, but you have to take your full attention here. Okay, so this point is not certainly 55. Okay, you have to find it. How will you find that? We will see. Now, my task is to find the slope of this line. The slope of AB will be equal to slope of BC will be equal to slope of CD will be equal to slope of AD. That you can, uh, what I can say, that you can um, uh, guarantee, right? Because this is a linear graph. So, slope of AB will be equal to slope of BC will be equal to. What is slope? Dhalan. How much it is inclined? So, AB is inclined same as BC as same as CD. So, AD line is inclined same as AB, same as BC, same as CD. So, slope of AB is equal to slope of AB is equal to slope of BC is equal to slope of CD and it is equal to slope of AD. So, tell me which slope I should find. From anywhere I can find. So, I will find from slope slope of CD. I will find slope of CD. Okay. So, let's just find. Okay. Let's just find slope of AD only. Slope of AD. Okay. So, Y2 minus Y1. 40 dB minus 20 dB. 
40 db minus of minus 20 db upon tell me where what should i write add a in the denominator right my it is like y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 right this is the case so tell me what should i write in the denominator shall i write 100 minus 0.1 or shall i write log tan 100 minus log tan 0.1 think about it if this was linear scale if this was omega only what you would have written what you would have written 100 minus 0.1 is this the linear scale no this is the log scale if i am putting omega equals to 100 my axis is thinking log tan 100 is applied log tan 100 minus log tan 0 0.1 60 upon log tan 100 by 0.1 so it will be 20 db per decade this is the slope of ad okay so the slope of ad we got here is 20 db per decade and just i wanted to tell you this is the slope of ad okay so here we will write log tan 100 log tan not directly omega okay got my point so till this point in around 50 minutes whatever that we have studied that will be used later on okay so whatever that we have studied so i don't think i will be able to revise it once again for you okay so i can just show you the slide First, we started with f of omega versus omega. Then we went to f of omega versus root of omega. In 10 points only, we could cover it up. Now, the graph is same, just the x is different now. Root of omega scale is there. Okay. And here we are putting the values of omega only. Okay. And then we did the same thing with the log. In log, only four values were more than enough. Okay. And the both graphs are same, but the but the scale is low and this is the most important part actually the most important part is this one okay because in body plot so this we have studied this is known as body plot only okay this is the body plot only but there is some ap approximation as well in body plot there are some approximation as well in body plot but this you can say the concept or depth of the body plot that y axis is in db x axis you put the value of omega but the scale is of log omega scale is of log tan omega you are putting omega equals to 100 but the axis is thinking that 3 is applied that's why there is this constant gap this is the constant gap but this is tan this is 100 this is not 55 that's for sure because the x axis scale is not linear y axis is linear only you can see here minus 20 0 plus 20 40 y axis is linear but x axis scale is not linear got my point now we will see what is frequency response we haven't we haven't even taken the name of body plot now right we have in this complete analysis we didn't only in last year i said that this is body plot but in the complete analysis i didn't even take the name of body plot right so we are not moving to body plot now we will see what is actually a frequency response is so a given transfer function is there so here i wrote that magnitude plus phase so in any frequency response there there will be two graph majorly they focus on magnitude graph very very rarely they can ask phase graph phase response as well so they will more focus on magnitude response okay we will see both so what do i mean by that what do I mean by frequency response? The question is given to you that draw the frequency response of the following transfer function. So what you will do? First thing you will do is that you will replace S with the J omega because this is the frequency response analysis. So your T of J omega would become 1 upon 2J omega plus 1. Right? 1 upon 2J omega plus 1. 
so tell me what will be the magnitude that will be 1 upon root 1 plus 4 omega square and what will be the angle angle will be minus tan inverse 2 omega i hope you guys know this thing i also in the network analysis as well basics of network analysis i told you to revisit this thing that how to write the angle and how to write the magnitude okay so i hope you have you have done this thing how to write the magnitude and how to write the angle and if you guys don't know then you can tell in the telegram group i will give you the resources from there you can watch the video and just learn how to write the angle and how to write the magnitude okay so this is the magnitude and this is the angle so first we will draw the magnitude response t of j omega will be what is t of j omega that is 1 upon root One plus four omega square. Okay, and what is angle? Angle is minus tan inverse two omega, right? Minus tan inverse two omega. Value of omega I will be putting. <coughs> And I will be putting the value of omega. Okay, let's see. I will be putting the value of omega and I will be I will see what will be the graph of what will be the magnitude of T of J omega and what will be the angle of T of J omega. Tell me at omega goes to 0, what is the magnitude? That is 1. Not in dB, in decimal. At omega goes to 0, magnitude is 1. At omega goes to 0, what is the angle? 0 degree, 0, tan inverse 0 is 0, so 0 degree. At omega goes to 1 by 2. At omega goes to 1 by 2. What is the magnitude? That is 1 by root 2. And what is the angle? That is minus 45. At omega goes to infinity. At omega goes to infinity. At omega goes to infinity, what is the magnitude? Magnitude is 0. And what is the angle? That is minus 90. Right? So omega goes to 0, the magnitude is 1. So basically, from 1 to 0, you are going, and from 0 degree to 90 degree, you are going. So very simple mathematics it is. Okay? This is the magnitude response, and this is the phase response. Okay, so magnitude from 1 to 0. So it will start from 1 and to 0, it will go. Okay, and what about the angle from 0 degree? It will start and it will saturate till. 90 degree go like this i should make it in one go only okay till infinity it will go to zero and at infinity it will go to minus 90 degree and here one more point i can show that is one by root two why am i interested in this point can anyone tell? Omega is equal to 1 by 2. This is 1 by root 2. Why am I interested in this point? Because this is my pole location. Right? This is my pole location. No one will say this is 3 dB bandwidth, 3 dB cutoff frequency and all these things. Because we haven't introduced all these things. Right? We will introduce all these things. Then you, will, you can say this is 3 dB cut off 3 dB bandwidth or this is a cut off frequency of low pass filter so everything we will see but for now why i was interested in finding the value that was the reason was that because here my pole was at 1 by 2 okay it was at minus 1 by 2 but we are taking the magnitude so it was at 1 by 2 okay that's why i was interested so this these this is the magnitude plot 
and this is the phase plot okay and the complete both combined is known as frequency response so this is the frequency response of that transfer function okay now we will see frequency response of some other trans this transfer function now you have to take gain in db okay gain is in db so now we will be drawing only gain plot for phase we will uh, see later on in the end of the video for now just focus on the gain plot okay J we are just focusing on the gain plot so what is the t of j omega of this that is 1 by 2 j omega and what is the magnitude it will be 1 by 2 omega omega value we will take here my pole is at 0 only so i will be interested in two points only or three points i will take three points but the gain is in db okay so i will write t of j omega and then i will write t of j omega in db so at omega goes to 0 what you are having infinity at omega goes to infinity you are having 0 let's just take one more point at omega goes to 1 you are having 1 by 2 okay so tell me what is log of infinity 20 log tan infinity this value is infinite only so 20 into infinite will be infinite only right so this is infinity what will be this value 20 log tan 1 by 2 so it will be minus 20 log tan 2 so it will be minus 6 okay you can calculate from the calculator it will be minus 6 and what is log 0 that is minus infinity so basically you are starting from infinity and going towards minus infinity why was i interested in this value in this value in this value any particular reason no particular reason for no reason i was interested okay no particular reason is there so the gain is in db now okay so we are going from we are starting from infinity and going towards minus infinity so i can't really show infinity so how will i show it from this now this is log axis uh, or this is in db like this is log axis i didn't say that this is log low, low axis this is simply t of j omega versus omega forget about the concept of low low axis or anything here no log, low axis is used okay if, if this was log axis from where we, we would have started the omega value would have been 0.1 right and forget about body plot forget about low axis everything just simple frequency response you are drawing t of j omega versus omega that's it okay the gain is in db this time that's it now the concept comes that the gain is in db and x axis is in log scale okay so x axis is in log scale now so one point i will write here is that you have a pole at omega goes to 0 you have a pole at omega goes to 0 why did i write this line you will get to know okay so what is the magnitude okay i guess i can copy all those things these things are near uh, completely same only but tell me one thing here i will be interested in some more points right i will be interested in 0 0.1 because that's fr from there i will be starting right so at 0 0.1 this will be 5 right 5 and what will be the gain in db 20 log 10 5 so i have to calculate 5 log 10 into 20 that will be 13.97 right and i will be interested in let's just take one more point let's take one okay so at 1 i will be having 1 by 2 so at 1 by 2 my gain would be minus 6 db and at uh, omega equals to infinity my gain would be infinite only and this would be uh, sorry 0 sorry at infinite my gain would be 0 and 20 log 0 would give me minus infinity i hope you are comfortable with the logarithm 
ट्वेंटी लोग जीरो वुड गिव मी माइनस इन्फिनिटी ओके सो हाउ विल आई ड्रो द ग्राफ नाउ वन थिंग आई नो द एक्स एक्स इज इन लोग स्केल नाउ बट द ग्राफ विल बी बिटवीन ग्राफ विल बी बिटवीन दिस ओनली एंड द गेन इज इन डीबी ओके सो एट नाउ टेल मी वॉट इज दिस वैल्यू जीरो पॉइंट वन ओके सो एट जीरो पॉइंट वन यू आर हैविंग थर्टीन पॉइंट नाइन सेवन डी बी सो दिस इज यूर थर्टीन पॉइंट नाइन सेवन डी बी ओके एंड एट वन यू आर हैविंग माइनस सिक्स डी बी एंड देन यू आर गोइंग टूअर्ड्स माइनस इन्फिनिटी सो आई गेस आई शूड ड्रो इट ऑन नेक्स्ट पेज बिकॉज आई नीड टू शो यू समथिंग आई विल ड्रो इट ऑन नेक्स्ट पेज हेयर my omega is 0.1 and then i have omega equals to 1 i have omega equals to infinity forget about those okay at omega equals to 0.1 you are having 13.97 from 13.97 you are going towards minus infinity okay so this is how the graph should look like now what about this point omega goes to 0 if you apply omega goes to 0 what will this axis think this axis will think that you have applied If you apply omega goes to zero here, so this axis will think that you have applied minus infinity. So here your minus infinity would be, and at minus infinity you are having infinite gain. So what you can do, you can draw the graph something like this. At minus infinity you are having minus infinity gain. So this is this is how you can draw the graph, and you can say this point is zero point one. So this point is your thirteen point nine seven. Tell me this omega value. Will this omega value be greater than one or less than one? This omega value will be greater than one or less than one. Less than one, right? Because at one you are having negative gain of minus six. So I don't know where is one, but let's just assume if this is one. So here you will have minus six dB. Minus six dB. This is one. Here you will have minus six dB. Okay, and this can be nearly equals to fourteen. This is minus six dB, and this will nearly be equals to fourteen dB. Can anyone tell the slope of this line without calculating? What did I say? What is the slope? How much dB you are increasing with increase in tan? From zero point one two, you are going to one. That means you are increasing one decade, right? the growth in omega is one decade then how much db you are losing that is 20 so your slope is 20 db per decade right or how will i find the slope a slope slope will be y2 minus y1 so minus 6 minus 14 divide by log tan this by this because i would have written log tan 1 Minus log tan 0.1. So basically, it would be log tan 1 by 0.1. So it would be log tan 10, right? So it would be log tan. Sorry, log 1 by 0.1. So it will be slope will be minus 20 dB per dec. Okay. So the slope is minus 20 dB per dec. So one point from here, important point. important note what did i say you have a zero at you have a pole at zero so a pole gives you a slope of minus 20 db per decade a pole gives you a slope of minus 20 db per decade Okay, what do I mean by dB per decade? That means you are losing 20 dB. The slope is minus 20 dB per decade. That means you are losing 20 dB in 10x growth of omega. Right? I guess here I forgot to explain when I wrote the value of slope. Here I forgot to explain that you are losing, that you are increasing 20 dB in 10x growth. Right? From zero from Here one to ten you are giving going so from zero db to twenty db you are going from ten to hundred you are going so 
20 dB to 40 dB you are going. So in 10x growth you are increasing 20 dB, right? And here in 10x growth you are losing 20 dB. In 10x growth you are losing 20 dB. So this is the very important point. Okay, a pole gives you a slope of minus 20 dB per decade. Okay, so this was the thing we did. And sometimes they may ask you, like in in interview, these questions can be asked. Say, draw the body plot of this. So simply, that's how you will draw. But this is not how you will draw actually. This is the complete method I am telling. Then I will just tell you how to the steps I will tell how to draw the body plot if they ask you in the interview or written test. Okay. Now you have to draw the transfer function. Sorry, you have to draw the frequency response. Okay. So T of j omega is 2j omega. What will be the magnitude? The magnitude will be 2 omega. Okay. So omega value we will take. And directly, not looking good. Omega value we will take and directly in dB we will take this time. Okay. Okay, you need to draw the frequency response and take gain in dB. So directly dB we will take. So omega equals to 0 I am taking, omega equals to 1 I will take and omega equals to infinity I will take. So what will be the omega at omega equals to 0 you are having 0. So the gain is 0. In dB it will be log tan 0 that means minus infinity. At omega goes to 1, you are having gain 2. At omega goes to 1, you are having gain 2. What it will be in dB? Log tan 2. So it will be 6 dB. And at omega goes to infinity, you are having infinity gain. What it will be in dB? It will be infinity only. Okay. Right. I hope you are able to catch this. For this, the gain is 0 only. So 20 log tan 0. It will be minus infinity. Right. From minus infinity to infinity, it is rising. Okay, here I can put omega goes to 0 for sure because this is not log scale. This is not log scale. So, I can certainly put omega goes to 0 here. So, from minus infinity to infinity you will rise. To infinity. Although, what will be the value of omega here? What this value will be? What do you think? 1 by 2. Because at omega goes to 1 by 2, you will have the gain 1, that means 0 dB, right? So, from minus infinity to infinity, you are rising, okay? And at omega goes to 1, this is 1, this will be omega goes to 1, you are having 6 dB gain, right? This you are having 6 dB gain. And what do you think this point will be? This point will be 1 by 2, because at 1 by 2, your gain is, your gain is 1, that means it is 0 dB. So this point is 1 by 2, okay. And if I want to calculate the slope, forget about the slope, okay. Slope we will see later on. When we do it in the log scale, now we will see the slope, okay. So whatever that I have done here, this I can copy completely. One more point I will be interested in that is 0 0.1 omega equals to 0 0.1. So let's just write it more clearly. At omega goes to 0 infinite minus infinity, at omega goes to 0 0.1. What is the gain? That is 0 0.2. So in dB it will be 0 0.2 log tan into 20. So it will be minus 14. Okay. What about omega goes to 1 by 2 at omega goes to 1 by 2 you are having gain 1 that means it is 0 dB at omega goes to 1 forget about 1 okay at omega goes to infinity 
okay just write for one at omega goes to one the gain is two that means it is six db and at omega goes to infinity you are having infinite that means it will be infinite db so now we will make the graph right this is my omega goes to point one and this is my omega goes to zero omega goes to zero will be somewhere here this is my omega goes to zero right and this is my graph and what did i write in this one yeah this is not my minus infinity this is my omega goes to zero actually okay this is my omega goes to zero because if i put omega goes to zero log tan omega will give me infinity minus infinity sorry if i put omega goes to zero then it will give me minus infinity and values of what values of uh, what values we are putting at x axis we are putting the values of omega at x axis right we are putting the values of omega so this will be omega goes to zero right this won't be omega goes to minus infinity we are going from omega goes to zero to infinity that's it negative value of omega is not even there are you getting my point right so here i should write when omega equals to zero log scale will take log tan zero that is equals to minus infinity okay so in the log scale as per the log scale this is the minus infinity but as per omega this is zero right so here this is zero only and this is 0 0.1 this is 1 by 2 and this is 1 and infinity so at 0 0.1 you are having minus 14 whatever that you are having basically you are going from minus infinity to infinity with at 1 by 2 you are having 0 so i will make this as 1 by 2 this as 1 by 2 okay and at 1 you are having 6 db Six dB. At point one, you are having minus fourteen dB. Can you guys find the slope of this line? Slope. What will be the slope? Okay. So the slope will be. We can take any two point on the line. We can take any two point on the line. We will take six dB and minus fourteen. Okay. So my y two is six and my y1 is minus 14 6 minus of minus 14 upon log tan what is my x2 x2 is 1 what is my x1 that is 0.1 1 by 0.1 basically 20 db per decade slope i am getting is 20 db per decade okay so here and also you can see by the diagram as well if you are going from 0 0.1 to 1 that means 10x growth, 10x growth 10x growth means 20 db should increase so minus 14 to 6 20 db is increasing so in 10x growth 20 db is increasing here you had a here you had a 0 at 0 right at omega goes to 0 here you are having 0 at omega goes to 0 right 2s if you put 2s equals to 0 that means at at 0 you are having a 0 do you remember what is pole and 0 s plus 2 s plus 3 what was pole you have to put denominator equals to 0 so you will get a pole if you put numerator equals to 0 you will get a 0 so here the transfer function is 2s by 1 forget about this denominator sorry yeah numerator upper one is the numerator the lower one is the denominator okay yeah so if you put numerator equals to 0 that means you will get a 0. So, numerator is 2s. If you put that equals to 0, your 0 is at 0 only. Got my point? In the previous video, we have seen what is what are poles, what are 0. Okay. So, when numerator is equals to 0, that means you will get a value of 0. And when denominator is equals to 0, that means you will get a value of pole. So, here you had a 0 at omega goes to 0. So, important point is that a zero 
will give you a 20 db per decade slope okay so a zero gives you a 20 db per decade slope you have to keep in keep it in mind okay so a zero gives you a slope of 20 db per decade okay now let's move on to our topic body plot that is the necessary part for your exam so how you will draw the body plot in your exam this is how you will draw so even if you have understood nothing in the previous analysis then it's okay even if you have understood nothing from here you have to understand everything so what are the important point a pole gives you a slope of minus 20 db per decade a zero will give you a slope of plus 20 db per decade there are some assumptions that are made in body plot that is let's just assume your this is not important part but what if someone asks you what are the assumptions made so most of the guys are not aware of this okay so all these things that we made these are not body plot because there were no assumption but in body plot there is one assumption made that is for s of tau less than one like this is my transform function s of tau plus one for s of tau le less than one they will take the transform function equals to one only which one is which which value is greater this value is greater so they will take the transform function equals to one only and for s of tau greater than one they will take the transform function equals to s of tau only okay so these are the assumption there got my point i will explain this too okay i will explain this as well now this is the question draw the body plot for this transform function this is this is the direct question that can be asked in the interview okay so this is the direct question that can be asked so how will you do do it okay first step is always find the dc gain this is the first step find the dc gain in db of course so what do what do i mean by dc gain put omega goes to zero okay so let's just put omega goes to zero that means here t of j omega is this 3 upon 2j omega plus 1 if you put omega goes to 0 in this one that means you will get 3 and what is the gain in db then that will be 20 log 10 3 so i can i can 3 log 10 into 20 9.54 9.54 db this is my dc gain now the second step is find location of poles and zeros here your pole is at it is at minus 1 by 2 actually okay and there are no zeros no zeros the pole is at minus 1 by 2 actually but you will in mind you will think 1 by 2 only because at omega axis you are going to make 1 by 2 only okay and the step third is that at pole you will have 20 db per decade slope 20 db per decade slope this is the most important point only and at 0 sorry minus 20 db sorry sorry minus 20 db per decade here also i wrote minus now in this a pole gives you minus 20 db per decade yeah and at zero you will have plus 20 db per decade slope okay so now let's draw the body plot for this this is my omega first i will mark the pole location what is my pole location that is one by two so before this pole before this pole i will just have a dc gain that is 9 9.54 9.54 okay and after this pole i will have a slope of minus 20 db per decade that's it this is my body plot okay i am drawing it in db and the scale is log scale here always remember log scale okay the scale is log scale okay the scale is log scale so what was my dc gain that was 9.54 db 
okay dc gain and then a slope of minus 20 db per decade understood so this is how you have to draw the body plots now one thing that i needed to explain this one the assumption let's understand this when you are when your 2s is very very less than 1 not very very less than 1 just less than 1 that means when your s is less than 1 by 2 so they are just they will just take t of s equals to 3 only 3 by 1 you can say they will take t of s equals to 3 only and if you convert 3 into db you get 9.54 db what you are doing in body bloat when your omega is less than 1 by 2 or s you you can say when your s is less than 1 by 2 you are just putting 9.54 db that you are doing right and when your omega is greater than 2s is greater than 1 that means when your omega is greater than 1 by 2 what they will take they will take t of s equals to 3 by 2s right because oh, when 2s is greater than 1, then they will not consider 1, they will just consider 2s. So, t of s would be 3 by 2s. That means simply when we draw the graph of 1 by s, here we draw the graph of 1 by s, right? Yeah, we draw the graph of 1 by s. How do we get a 20 dB slope, minus 20 dB per decade slope, right? When you draw the graph of 1 by 2s here, we got minus 20 dB per decade slope. So, this is what we are getting after. 1 by 2. Are you getting my point? Why this assumption I wrote here? Most of the guys doesn't know about it. Right? Those who have already studied body bloat, I, I guess they might have forgo forgot this. Okay? So, we forget this point, but there is assumption made. That's why body plot is the approximate plot. Okay? So, this is the body plot. Okay, this is the body magnitude plot body magnitude plot about body body phase plot we will study okay this is body magnitude plot this is body magnitude plot okay so the assumption that i wrote that is also clear right for for 2s less than 1 they are not considering 2s they are only considering 1 there so 3 by 1 so simply my 9.54 db and after that, the 20 dB roll over. Or what, eventually what you have to remember, you first will find the location of pole and zero. You just mark that pole and then you see the DC gain. If there is no pole, no zero, so only DC gain will continue. And when there is pole, minus 20 dB per decade. When there is zero, plus 20 dB per decade. This is what happens. That's it. Now, before moving on to the next concept or question, let's just solve this problem. Find the value of A. Without solving the problem, without applying any formula, can you tell me the value of A? What is the growth of omega in x axis? You can say, you can see this is log scale. Okay. Every time they will not say it, this is log scale, they will just say that this is a body plot. The body plot is given. And if body plot is given, that means this is the log scale only. Okay. So I think I should write it. Here I should write it. Or body plot. Or body plot. X, y axis gain will be in dB. Gain will be in dB. dB. And x axis will be in. log scale okay and this property like the graph paper that we bring that is the normal graph paper and if this is the property in some graph paper that means this graph is known as semi log paper semi log graph paper okay so body plot is drawn in semi log graph paper okay x axis will be in log scale and gain will be in db so, body plot is drawn in semi log graph paper. Okay, yeah. So, tell me the value of A in this question. There is 10x growth in the frequency. So, the gain will be 20 dB more because the slope here is 20 dB per decade. Right? How I can find the value of A? That is, the slope is 20 dB per decade. So, y2 minus y1 
ए माइनस फोर बाई लोग टेन एक्स टू बाई एक्स वन फाइव बाई वन बाई टू फाइव बाई वन बाई टू तो ए विल बी ट्वेंटी फोर डी बी राइट और यू कैन से दैट ट्वेंटी डी बी पर डिकेट मीन्स देर इज टेन एक्स ग्रोथ सो ट्वेंटी डी बी विल बी मोर ओके नाउ दिस दिस पॉइंट इज ट्वेंटी फोर डी बी ओके यू हैव अंडरस्टूड नाउ यू हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ओमेगा द स्लोप इज माइनस ट्वेल्व डी बी पर ओक्टिव नाउ वॉट इज दिस डिफरेंट थिंग वॉट इज पर डी बी पर ओक्टिव ओके सो लेट सी दिस लुक डी बी पर डिकेट द स्लोप इज डी बी पर डिकेट वॉट डज दैट मीन दैट स्लोप विल बी वाई टू माइनस वाई वन दिस विल बी इन डी बी ओके अपोन लोग टेन एक्स टू वाई एक्स वन ओके एंड इफ द स्लोप इज इन डी बी पर ओक्टेव दैट मीन्स स्लोप विल बी वाई टू माइनस वाई वन डी बी अपोन लोग टेन एक्स टू वाई सॉरी लोग नोट लोग टेन लोग टू एक्स टू वाई एक्स वन एंड ट्वेंटी डी बी पर डिकेड इज इक्वल एंड टू सिक्स डी बी पर ओक्टेव नाउ हाउ डिड आई राइट ऑल दिस लुक दिस यू जनरली विल नॉट सी you will not see this generally but once in a lifetime what if you get to see this and then you will think i haven't told this okay so i just wanted to tell you now what does db per octave mean okay octave mean look the thing is in case of decade what i was saying if i if you are going from 1 by 2 to 5 that means the 10x growth is there if there is 10x growth that means your gain will be 20 db more in octave means twice like if you are going from 10 to 20 that means you will lose 12 db and if you are going from 20 to 40 that means you will lose 12 more that means if you are going from 10 to 40 you will lose 24 db are you getting my point what is octave in case of db per decade that means if you are going 10x growth if you are getting 10x growth okay i think i will have to take a example for this okay i will take a example okay this is the example let's find the slope of bc slope of bc that is y2 minus y1 that means 20 db so 20 i will write upon log 10 x2 by x1 that means 10 by 1 basically the slope is 20 db per decade right now i know the slope let's find the point d what will be the point d okay so at point d i am assuming my coordinate is y2 not y2 yeah y2 i am assuming okay or y of d i am assuming so if i know this is the first thing i am doing now i know the slope of this line the slope of this line is 20 the point is yd minus y1 y1 is 4 db upon log 10 this is 2 2 by 1 so from from here y of d i will i will be getting is 4 plus 20 log 10 2 so y of d is 2 log 10 into 20 Plus four, so ten dB I am getting. Right. So here, what did I understand? This y of d is ten dB. Okay. So I will just copy this in next page. So this slope here is. 20 db per decade and this point i have got is 10 db 
ओके नाउ हाउ डू आई राइट स्लोप इन डीबी पर ओक्टिव हाउ डू आई राइट स्लोप इन डीबी पर ओक्टिव ओके सो आई एम फाइंडिंग स्लोप इन डीबी पर ओक्टिव सो दैट वुड बी वाई टू और यू कैन फाइंड फ्रॉम हेयर एज वेल ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस फोर ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस फोर अपॉन लोग टू सो टेन बाई वन राइट द सेम थिंग दैट वी फाउंड इन डीबी पर डिगेट हाउ डिड वी फाइंड फाउंड इन डीबी पर डिगेट वाई टू माइनस वाई वन अपॉन लोग टेन एक्स टू बाई एक्स वन सिमिलरली वाई टू माइनस वाई वन अपॉन लोग टेन एक्स टू बाई एक्स लोग टू एक्स टू बाई एक्स वन ओके सो ट्वेंटी बाई लोग टेन टू सो टू लोग टेन टू टेन लोग टू रेसी प्रोकल इन टू ट्वेंटी सो वी आर गेटिंग सिक्स डीबी पर ओक्टिव नाउ वाई डिड आई फाइंड दिस वैल्यू दैन आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू शो यू द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस स्लोप स्लोप ओके वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दर ओक्टिव दैट मीन्स इफ यू गेट डबल इन टू द फ्रीक्वेंसी इफ यू गेट डबल इन टू द फ्रीक्वेंसी टू एक्स दैट मीन्स यू विल इंक्रीज सिक्स डी बी एंड इफ यू गेट टेन एक्स इन टू द फ्रीक्वेंसी दैट मीन्स यू विल इंक्रीज ट्वेंटी डी बी सो इफ यू गेट टू एक्स यू विल इंक्रीज सिक्स डी बी एंड इफ यू गेट टेन एक्स यू विल इंक्रीज ट्वेंटी डी बी सो बोथ आर द सेम थिंग ओनली गोट माई पॉइंट अंडरस्टूड सो बेसिकली इन कंक्लूजन योर ट्वेंटी डी बी पर डिकेट वुड बी इक्वल टू सिक्स डी बी पर ओक्टिव ओके इफ फोर्टी डी बी पर डिकेट दैट मीन्स इफ डबल हेयर दैट मीन्स डबल हेयर सिक्सटी मीन्स सिक्सटी लाइक ट्वेंटी एन डी बी पर डिकेट दैट मीन्स इट कैन बी प्लस माइनस एज वेल इफ प्लस इज देयर माइनस इज देयर दैट मीन्स प्लस माइनस सिक्स एन डी बी पर ओक्टिव ओके सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन रिलेट राइट so the main thing that you need to remember is this one this formula these two formulas that you need to remember okay these formulas are the important part this thing you need to remember and this thing you need to remember that's it and here we just so why it is important okay so now tell me what will be the value of omega dash can you tell me what will be the value of omega dash what will be the value of omega dash how will you tell you can find like this the slope is minus 20 minus 12 sorry okay the so slope is minus 12 db per octave remember per octave okay so y2 minus y1 what is y2 that is 0 minus y1 what is y1 that is 24 upon log 2 what is y x2 that you need to find omega dash upon 10 so omega dash is 40 radian per second and intuitively if you need to tell how will you tell intuitively how will you tell intuitively you will say that 20 db per octave that means if i double my frequency i will lose 12 db if i double my frequency i will lose 12 db that means from 10 to 20 if i am going i will lose 12 db that means from 20 24 to 12 i will get if i double my frequency more to, more that means i will lose more 12 that means from 12 to i am going zero that's it got my point so this is how you can tell okay so by slope you have understood what is the meaning if you are if you are going 10 times that means you are you can increase 20 db 40 db 60 db 80 db anything right and in octave that means if you are going double that means you can lose 6 db 12 db 14 6 db 12 db 18 db or you can gain 6 db 12 db or 18 db so double is related to 6 or any slope and double is related to 6n okay frequency doubled that means 6n db will be you will either gain it or you will either or lose it and if frequency is 10x that is related to plus minus 20n db you will either gain it or lose it got my point 
so rest of the part we will see in the next video for drawing body plot for all these curves okay then a few more things are left we will see few few more questions all thing all the things will be clear to you okay in the next video whatever that is necessary for your interview that will completely be clear for, to you okay so let's move on to the next video thank you